this is a small group. Um, this this is a, this is a, also within this defend the forest movement. Um, there are no leaders, so people go off and do their own thing. That doesn't just make them justifiable, but I, I do think that you know you keep using these words violent, 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 um, and. It, it gives the impression. I mean, the only violence that that, or, or the only acts of, of violence against people that I saw were were actually police tackling protesters. Hmm. <laughs> this entire protest is based on the fact that they're angry that one of their Antifa chuds shot at a police officer and was killed in return fire. And this guy isn't just any CNN contributor. He also helped to promote a GoFundMe for the guy that tried to kill cops. Un real. After almost a decade's worth of left-wing political violence from a terrorist organization known as Antifa, it's become very clear that they're actually an approved wing of the Democrat Party. It goes like this. Left-wing mobs commit violence on behalf of Democrats. Then Democrat state media gaslights the country, telling them that very clear violence is actually mostly peaceful. Even with video on screen showing the violence in great detail. Then Democrats start bail funds and pull strings to get charges dropped. Now, after a previous violent Democrat riot where one of the peaceful protesters shot at police, resulting in his death. So of course now there are violent Democrat riots in Boston. With clear video of violence in the background, our media is doing what they always do and claiming that it's mostly peaceful. Seeing as how their job is protecting the Democrat party, they have to do this because otherwise the standards they hold their opponents to will be applied to them and they cannot have that. Now we come to find out that one of the Antifa chuds who was arrested after assaulting a police officer is the son of a Democrat Congresswoman. Not just any Democrat, but the whip, meaning the one in charge of enforcing rules over Democrats on legislation pushed by Democrats. The Post Millennial reports, according to an online biography for Rep Clark, a Jared Dow was listed as her child. During Dow's arrest, a group of about 20 protesters surrounded the officers while screaming profanities through megaphones. While interfering with the arrest of Jared Dow, an officer was hit in the face and could be seen bleeding from the nose and mouth. But wait, I thought Democrats loved police officers now. But I think we all know that there won't be any praise or concern by these same people for these officers. Kathleen responded, tweeting out, quote, Last night, my daughter... I don't know. Was arrested in Boston, Massachusetts. I love Riley, and this is a very difficult time in a cycle of joy and pain in parenting. This will be evaluated by the legal system, and I am confident in that process. Oh, sure, sure. Wait, nothing about threats to democracy, violence against police, or insurrections? I know, I know, it's different. One thing's for sure, she doesn't have to worry about the media calling her daughter a terrorist, or attaching her actions to the Democrat Party, or using them as a justification for censorship. That's all I have for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.